Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope all of you are okay. So, welcome back. Today's topic is about Open Broadcaster Software, or known as OBS. Okay, so OBS Studio. To start with, let's open your browser. Okay. And go to obsproject.com. And then from there, you download the software, the OBS Studio. If your operating system is Windows, then click Windows. If you're Mac OS, then click Mac. Or if you're using Linux, then use Linux. Okay? So if you're using Windows, so click Windows. And here we go. Then you have to save that. And of course, after saving, install it. And once you have installed already your OBS software, so this is now the image or the picture of OBS. Okay? Then, once you already have your software, we can start creating a scenario. So just follow the image that you can see in the monitor. Okay, so click scenario. And then once you already have your scenario, click the positive sign. And then we can Click the positive sign and choose whatever you want to install. Okay? So this time we're going to create an image or install an image to the OBS or we're going to create a frame. So be sure that you already have your frame created prior to installing it to your OBS. Or inserting it to your OBS. Okay, so that's the image. Then click browse. Locate that image so the folder where you have saved before. And then press shift key while dragging the edge of the frame. like this one okay so as you can see the screen is already having its frame and then we're going to add text so type the text that you want for example this one i type tutorial video Okay, and place that in the lower portion of your screen to make it as your label. And then, right click on it and click filter. Okay, so once you already have your filter, then right click the mouse. And then click Add and choose the option Scroll. Okay. Follow on the screen. And then you are going to add a number in the horizontal speed so that the text will be moving like that one okay so once you're done minimize your screen and then close the screen as you can see in the video the text is already running Okay, 
and then we're going to add another image so back to the positive sign then click on image again this time we're going to put a podium okay so choose again the image that you want and make it smaller and place it either in the right side or in the left side of your screen okay then we're going to create another text so right click again on the positive sign under sources and then type the text that you want so we're going to put a name in the podium so I'll write the name Jose Medrena Jr. and click OK and then place that text in the podium okay then we're going to add video capture device so again click positive sign in the sources option and choose video capture device and click OK so this time you can see already a video or a camera running in your OBS and click OK so in the device you have to choose HD your surfacing camera or whatever camera installed in your computer or in your laptop okay and then adjust the screen by pressing alt key while dragging the mouse to its desired size and as you can see in my screen the video or image is already fits in the podium okay so right click the mouse inside the video frame and click filter option then click the positive sign and choose chroma key so the purpose of this is to change the background to make it transparent okay so as you can see in the screen Okay, so choose chroma key and then you can adjust the color to get background and transform it to a transparent background okay so like that one so as you can see there is already this image and the background is transparent so the video running in the OBS is now having a transparent background okay now once you're ready with your OBS then you can start recording if you want to record your presentation or video or you can play it online using the stream or streaming capability of OBS okay so that depends on you if you're going to stream that in Facebook live or in YouTube or in whatever online platform that you desire so just click the stream and attach the stream key in the stream option so all you have to do is just click the settings and then point your mouse to the stream option and paste the stream key there that you got from your Facebook group or to other platforms that you want to play live okay with your video presentation in OBS okay so um, in this example I use Facebook live so I get the stream key from Facebook group and then I pasted it in here so that I can play it online okay so in your Facebook account click video or live video and then 
choose the group that you want to play. Okay, so in this example, I want to post in a group so that only the group of people can see my video. So this one, I use the practice group. And then use a stream key. Okay, so copy the stream key. So all you have to do is just click copy. And then go back to your OBS and paste that to the stream key option window and once you're done you click apply and click ok you can also use the studio mode in your OBS if you want to plug let's say additional information aside from what you have in your video okay so simply click transition so that it may interchange the presentation okay so once you're ready you can start streaming your video and you can start also recording your video okay so in this case this is already ready so I want to play online So I click start in the OBS and this will be the option in the practice group that I have chosen. So once OBS is ready, then you have to click go live. So once you click the go live, your video is now posted online as a live video. Okay, so those are the steps if you want to play your video or if you want to have a live broadcast in your presentation using OBS and use that to play live in Facebook or you may also choose YouTube to play live video using OBS okay so that's the part one now, let's go to part number two, OBS using Google Meet. So, all you have to do is go to the Google website and then type in DI OBS. So, you can easily see there in Google, new tech NDI integration in the OBS Studio 4.9.1. And then all you have to do is to download that file, okay? So once you already have downloaded, then you can install it again. So this is the portal. If you click this link from Google site and click New Tech NDI, so this will be the portal that you can see in your screen. And then click Go to Download section. And then you chose OBS NDI 4.9. Windows Installer XE and then save that download file and then after that you have to install in your computer and then download also OBS Virtual Cam so type OBS Virtual Camera and out there you can see the link and then download that link from download that file from the link that Google have shown you. Okay, so here we are. So go to download and download OBS Virtual Camera. And once you already have downloaded that camera, then install it and be sure to check webcam input integration for Skype and other video portals like Zoom, Google Meet, or MS Teams. And do not forget to check Run at Window or Windows Start. Okay, and click Next. So once your OBS camera is installed already and NDI OBS is installed 
then you can start running them. So from your OBS application, then click virtual cam or virtual camera. So make it available in your OBS. Okay, as you can see, uh, auto start must be checked. And then go to start in your windows and find in the i4 tools and click windows or webcam input okay so here we are we're quite ready so again going back to your obs uh, click the sources and positive sign and choose video capture device since you already have your podium then just go over with it and you can use it so just click video capture device and then choose ndi video new tech ndi video as your video or any available video in your computer and you have to choose windows capture so that can play in the background and your image or video is visible already in in the screen like this one so the lecture node that i have is at my back and you can see me in the podium okay so this is the clear um, image or video that I'm running right now using OBS okay so I can play this in Google me while using OBS so people can easily see me having the lecture in the screen of their computer okay so this one is the example of google me that i have created okay so i use obs software or open broadcaster software during my google meeting okay so aside from the live presentation that i used in fb or in youtube we can also use obs during our meeting using google meet or zoom or ms teams all you have to do is to follow the steps that I have shown you so that you will enjoy the functionality of this program. So with that, thank you so much and I hope you learned something from me. And all I have to do is practice if you have time so that you can enjoy the benefit of having this remarkable program that we are using in playing online or during the conduct of our meeting or discussions thank you so much bye bye